some eerie sci-fi movie. We are uh, about to show you a tip and trick on how to make a uh, deep drop for uh, fishing deep fluke, a double rig. We use a glow squid for them. So we're going to show you how to make that rig. But uh, I wanted to show you what in the deep darks of 100 foot when it's dark down there, you know, what a fluke could see. And, uh, you know, we like to use a little bit of glow on these rigs. Uh, we'll use a double hook tandem. We'll snell two hooks. And then uh, we put a glow squid on it. You just zap it. If it's in the sunlight, it'll zap it like that. Or if it's uh, overcast, you got a quick little flashlight you can zap it with. But that's what we use. So tips and tricks this week brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your new or refis, go to BoatLoans.com. If you're looking at a new boat or want to refi your old boat, go to BoatLoans.com. So when you were talking deep, deep fishing for fluke, we're talking probably uh, like 80 to 100 feet or more. Uh, big fluke, 5 to 10 pound fish uh, here off the coast of Jersey. We got the old grounds, so our components are going to be, this is our glow-in-the-dark uh, B-52 squid. This one's, I think they call it cotton candy. It's got some flex in it. But the main part about these is to have ones that, for the glow. We've got our uh, about 24 inches of, of leader here. We're going to uh, you know, snip that off. This is a 40-pound 40 pound test and we have two hooks we're going to do for our tandem we got a uh, a straight shank and then I'm going to put on the back one in our tandem it's going to be a uh, octopus I usually put them probably about that far apart and uh, use it that way so that uh, you can put a nice long strip bait you make them a little longer but you know the key key with this is you're going to have to leave a really nice long tag end off of the off your front hook so uh, what we're going to do, this is your main line right here. Now what we do is we loop this around. Leave yourself a good long tag end so that you can you have plenty in the back to tandem up your hook. So I'm leaving a pretty big tag end there um, off of that. So then what you want to do to snell your first hook is you take and you're going to work towards the back you're going to come one two three four five six now you want to i want to run make sure my my main main line end runs across the back of the shank of the hook so that you get it straight coming off when you got the uh when it's pulling straight okay so keep your loop kind of open what we're going to do here is just hold it in our mouth so that the loop doesn't kink up and you don't get a kink in your leader. So we're going to pull this end, just pull it down, pull it down, so without it unraveling, I'll try to show what it's going to look like. There's your loop, this is your end coming off for your second hook, and then your loops are going to just kind of start to pull together don't pull it down tight because you want it to cinch up close to the shank so your lines on top of the hook push it down and cinch it cinch it down and that's what you got that's your first hook it's coming off your first hook a little bit of a little bit of twist in there but pull tight up against the eye it's going to lay the way you want it to lay and then here we got our tag end to put our second snell. Now we're going to do a different style of snell because we can't work work it the way we just did. All right. With this one, the snell is going to come through the eye of the hook, and then you're going to come back here. You're going to pinch it down, adjust it to the length you want. You know you're using big fluke bellies, uh, big strip of mackerel. A whole squid down there when you're deep dropping for these fish so this trailing hook your stinger as they call it so you're gonna make a loop with with your tag end and then you're gonna kind of cinch that down get it pressed up against the shank of the hook you're gonna come back around 
and you're going to work your way towards the bend. One, two, three, four. All right. And I'm going to come through the loop. So you got it where it's going to tie it, uh, cinch itself off. And you're going to start working that one down, pulling everything tight, pulling everything tight. So same thing, I use my teeth. My dentist probably don't think too fond of it. So pull it down tight and then work it towards the eye and then cinch everything tight up against the bend in the eye. Okay? So You're going to have your main hook. A lot of times with these big flukes, you're going to catch them on the back one. This kind of helps hold it. And I use a long shanked hook because I like to uh, be able to have the squid. See how the squid's going to come up. It's going to set right there on the body of the squid. It's going to come out just down on the bottom. And then you're going to have this coming back for to put your big piece of uh, bait on there. You know, some guys... They'll use, you know, big long strips. You want a big piece of, yeah, you know, you're, these are big fish. You're not looking at, uh, you know, under five, trying to catch under five pound fish. You're trying to catch some five to 10 pound and up fluke. And, uh, you know, in these real deep rocky bottoms, uh, you know, some of these deep wrecks, uh, you know, fishing around the edges, you want to use a big, nice big bait. You can make it shorter, you can make it a little longer. So, but there we go, there we got our tandem. There's our tandem. It's kind of a little wanted this to come a little bit straighter um, off the back. You can use an upturned eye hook for it, but kind of right there we got what we're looking for. I'm gonna trim up the bot the, the back end of this one. Trim that up. Alright. You kind of want the same going in the same direction. So when you're putting a big piece of bait, you hook it up here. And then just put this lightly through the bottom uh, for that. All right. And now what I'm going to add, <clears throat> I'm going to put a bead. We can put a bead or two beads down on the top, just so it doesn't pull, you know, pull that squid up too uh, too much. So that goes down on that. Go in through the, you know, these beef, these B2 squids got a hole in the bottom. They're nice, they're molded with a hole in them. You can come in, you know, push your leader down through here. It'll come out through the top. You're gonna bring here all the way down. So, and you're gonna pull your hook. You're gonna insert your hook. Kinda gotta pop it through. So you can find it kinda made itself click. And then you're just going to cinch it down. And then there you go. Your, your squid. The long trailer. I'll probably make this a little bit shorter next time. But you kind of get the gist of it. Uh, you know, you can put a pretty big squid on there. Hook the mantle up here. Hook this one down in towards the head. Keep the head intact and then it'll pull kind of sets everything in line you know and these are any kind of species of bottom you know bottom fish flounder I'm sure you could use them for halibut so any deep water gets that glow to it and then you just hook that through it now another uh, tip I like to do is for the base of this we're going to use a three-way swivel you can you'll tie your line on the one your rig on to the other and then I'm going to show you another neat little trick uh, you know because you're fishing a lot of these you're fishing rocky bottoms and uh, you know you don't want to lose your whole rig if you're if your dipsy gets hung up in the rocks so uh, I tie like a breakaway with some uh, wire but I'll show you that here in a minute and uh, like I said 
You know, this, uh, these tips and tricks are brought to you by BoatLoans.com. If you're buying a new boat or you're refinancing your old boat, go to BoatLoans.com. So, the knot I'm going to show you for this is I'm going to use a polymer knot. All right? So, a polymer knot is going to use is you come through once and then you bring your line around and you make a loop. All right? So, now you have a loop. You have a loop there and there's your three-way swivel. You're going to tie an overhand knot with the loop, the line loop, so it comes around. You're pinching, so you got your tag loop up here. You're going to come through. It's just a basic overhand knot. You got it there, just an overhand knot. And then you're going to pull your three-way swivel down in here. Now, very important, pull it back over the loops. So it comes back over to the loops. So when you start to pull down, this is going to be your lock. Uh, always a little bit of moisture, and then ease it down and cinch it tight. And that'll lock. That's polymer knot is one of your 98, 99, 100% uh, breaking strength knots. Uh, can be a little bulky, but it's got to make sure that that loop locks down on top. All right. You're going to trim this back. Always trim my tags pretty tight, pretty close. So your main line is going to tie to here, and then your dipsy is going to come off of here. Now what I do is I take some rigging wire. You can take uh, your rigging wire. You can take regular household wire. You know, just you know, automotive wire and just piece of copper and strip it down. But what I do with two pieces of rigging, because it seems that you always have some rigging wire on the boat. So what I do is I just. Twist them down so it's actually doubled up. And then I just kind of take one end, take one end here, go in through this, and then just twist this on your three way. I get the idea and then whatever size sinker you're using whether you're using a uh, <clears throat> you know whether it's 8 ounces 10 ounces 16 ounces you know a lot of these clips and everything won't fit on them real big sinkers so what I'll do then is uh you know say this you know this is a little bit of a big example but you go through the loop of your uh, dipsy and then you can take and you just loop it around and put it down pretty tight. Because a lot of times in these deep, when you when you get hung up, your actually hooks aren't hung up, it's your sinker. So you give it a real tight tug and it pops loose. And you don't lose the whole rig. Because you're figuring, you know, two hooks, and if you have to buy these, you know, they're not, not cheap. I'll see them $6.99, $7.99 for these deep drop, you know, fluke rigs. You can tie them up yourself, but you're still losing, you know, a couple hooks. You know, in a uh, in your squids, it's a lot cheaper to just lose a dipsy than it is to lose the whole rig. So once again, that's there is our uh, tandem hooked rig for your big baits, for your big fluke, with a uh, about a 24 inch leader to a three way to a piece of wire for your uh, dipsy, and you can put big baits for big fluke. Uh, thank you for watching once again. Uh, all these tips and tricks are brought to you by BoatLoans.com for all of your refis, for all your new boat purchases. Go see BoatLoans.com. Thank you and have a great day.